You know your IQ? I don't. I really don't. Um, you know. You think it's I, important? I don't think so. I mean, I I think everyday life tests you. And, yeah. You know, either I had dyslexia and I still do, and you know that was a it held me back. I couldn't read, and uh, it was falling back in school. But dyslexia is a weird thing. I can read a book upside down in a mirror. Like that's very strange. What? Like it's a superpower. That's how they they told me and said, stop feeling bad about yourself. Just start reading the books in a mirror upside down. <laughs> you so, ever try that, Georgie? It's, it's oh, no, I, yeah. I'm being serious. You know, it's it's a crazy really? thing to do. But it, it, then it, it, you can eventually you get over those things. You you figure out how to to deal with them. Dyslexia, I have it really bad. Yeah. Extremely bad. Actually, it's uh, I'm I'm believe it or not, it's the first time I'm actually admitting this. I'm writing a book. Yeah. And the reason I'm writing the book is because it's like a self help book, uh, spirituality wise. And uh, the first page is, is dedicated to, to the devil because really? in, in the second grade, uh, I completely dismissed me ever reading or writing. It was traumatizing, scaring. Uh, I'd pass out because if even I could read do it. Yeah. There was a game called Popcorn yeah. where they would go Popcorn Mike and Mike has to read. Till this day, if I hear the word popcorn, I, I literally, my stomach drops because like every kid would but do it to beat over the it, shit I out assume, of me. Right? Recently. Yeah. Uh, recently, uh, I got over it, and uh, the reason I dedicated it to him is because I truly believe that this book that I'm going to be putting out to help people in their in their weakest form try to find God. Uh, I think that in the very young uh, youth of mine, I think the devil did not want me to write books. Interesting. And, and when I met Tony Robbins, I, I I looked at him and I go, whatever he's doing, it, it it just it resonated with my heart. And I laid up the whole night and I go, fuck, dude, was I supposed to write a book? And all of a sudden, I just started writing away, writing away, writing away. And then I gave it to a few friends to read a bit. And they just had goosebumps all over. And they're like, yo, you have to finish this. That's cool. Yeah, that's a very cool story. We'll have two people on this podcast who wrote books. A dyslexic writing a book. Let's hope you have an yeah. editor. Can I ask <laughs> you, when you were young, did you ever be walking funny. around and all of a sudden the whole world would shift 90 degrees on you? Like, I'm joking. I'm like a you, fucking you feel asshole. Lost? I, like I don't know where you are. I, I, I it's, one of, it's one of the symptoms of hard dyslexia. You just, everything pivots 90 degrees. And you look around and say, I'm lost. I don't know. And then it comes back. That happened to me quite a few times. I had I had other things happen. I I my social cues were significantly different than people. So like I, when people were talking, I, I like and this sounds really weird, but I know how to talk to somebody and get them to say things that I want them to say through conversation. Like it's Telepathy. it's it's weird. Like I I, I could read give, people's facial. Give me facial. say something. Um, George, you're so George stupid. George is so stupid. <laughs> 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 <laughs>